Hey there friends, welcome to another episode of Friendly Tips. My name is Nathaniel, and if you're new here, this is the channel that's all about technology, gadgets, and showing you cool ways of how to use them. So consider subscribing down below and hitting that bell notification so every single episode and um, video that I post, you can be the first one to, to know, know about it. You can write about it in the, in the comments. Today, I'm going to tell you all about how to speed up your mobile browsing um, experience through blocking ads and trackers and other, th uh, other different things on the evil web. web. So this will be for both Android and iOS. Uh, I hope that my tutorial here is very helpful. Uh, let's get started. So why should you care about speeding up your mobile browsing experience? Well kind of obvious with how I'm kind of phrasing the question, but the faster you can speed up your mobile browsing experience, um, the less data you're to be able to, you're to be using, um, the faster you'll be able to go through web page after web page, and you won't have to sit there on a slow connection trying to have a page load. It also can help you uh, eliminate um, trackers on your, on your mobile browsing experience. Uh, trackers are used from sites all across the web, like Google, Amazon, Facebook, those are kind of the big ones that track you wherever you go uh, to try to then resell you ads um, to target, or sorry, not to resell, to target ads towards you. So uh, this kind of, th this, um, kind of helps uh, keep yourself a little bit more private with them, but also it, it gives you added benefits of faster speeds and not using as much data and in the end, actually, it does save battery life because of the fact that your phone's not having to pull down as much cellular data. Okay, guys, so first up, we have iOS here. Or, and this will work for an iPad and also for your phone here. So what I'm going to talk to you about is an app called OneBlocker. They have an older version that's free on the App Store called OneBlocker, and then they have the newer version, OneBlocker X, that's $5. Um, I highly recommend the one blocker ads based off of everything I'm going to try and show you what it can do. But if you're um, wanting to just try it out and see if it works, well, you can always download the original one blocker and go from there. So as I kind of was mentioning, this um, service helps uh, speed up your browsing history and also blots different trackers and annoyances on the web. So how it works is you first download the apps. And then when you open it up, it'll kind of walk you through the tutorial, but I'm just going to skip that and kind of show you exactly what to do. So you go over to your settings, and you first need to go over down, scroll down to Safari. When you hit Safari, you're going to scroll down to Content Blockers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to enable the um, free one, and I'll show you the paid one in a minute, But so we're just going to enable the free one. And actually, I'm going to actually going to back up and show you kind of what, I, what it looks like. So, yep, run browser. I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like. So on ESPN here, as you can see here, right up here, it's going to load an ad in a second. So that's what we don't want on sites, because that helps, that slows down the page. As you can tell, the page kind of loaded, and that loaded in the background. So what you want to do is you want to go over to one blocker here and enable it. And then when you go into one block, you want to enable blocked ads. Now this, since it's the free one, you can only turn on one at a time. That's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is for being free. It's trying to get you to do the paid version that allows you to turn all these on if you so wish. So we're going to turn on Black Dads, and we're going to go back to our ESPN, and we're just going to choose a normal one. And as you can see, no ad on that. So we're going to go back over here to try to show that it did work. We're going to go back over here and reload. See right there, the ad's there. So, go back over here. Go back over here and turn on, turn it off, just to make sure that it reloads properly. I'm going to show you that it did do it. So, back to Safari. Refresh. And no ads. Plain and simple. It's awesome, the fact that you're able to now have an ad-free experience inside Safari. So let's show you the paid version. So I'm going to first go here and disable that. And then I'm going to enable, the nice thing about the paid one is they've done it so they actually um, have broken it up so that way it works on all these different things inside Safari. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then over here, under one block, this is the paid one. So in here, I'm just going to turn on and turn off all the different ones just to make sure that it refreshes and processes the rules. So I have it blocking ads, blocking trackers, 
blocking different annoyances out there and that being social media widgets, cookie notices, share bars, crypto miners, I don't really need that on there. And for the little ones out there, um, and for those of us who don't want to, uh, it's nice that it can block adult sites. Um, you can obviously do regional if you want. So if you're into blocking German ads and blocking Russian ads, you can go for it. And if you really want to go custom, you really can just go hot wild here and blocking whatever you so please. I have turned on HTTPS only. Uh, it's just another added security thing that I just prefer to just have. It's, it might as well have it, so it's nice to have. So then under settings, Touch ID Cloud Sync, so it actually syncs with your iPad if you have one, which is kind of nice. Um, so and then it has news with their blog post, so really doesn't don't really need the new the news one. It's more about rules. So let's see what it looks like. So go over here after I enabled all that. Go back over to ESPN. Refresh. We'll make sure that that ad's gone. And see how much faster it loaded. The ad is gone and I'm able to do my whole thing. Scroll down. Yep. As you can see, it's a very fast loading experience on here. All right, now on to the Android one. So I have here my Galaxy Note 8, and I'm going to be mostly talking about the Samsung browser because actually I prefer that, and they actually have released it for any Android device out there. But there are a plethora of other uh, browsers out there you could consider, like the Firefox browser. Um, over here, it is the Brave one the Brave browser, those ones I have used personally and I can say that, that they do have the ability to have extensions or they do have ad blocking built into them. So uh, for this purpose, let's pull up the Safari browser. Uh, not Safari, but what am I talking about Safari? I just got done with the iOS one. <laughs> the internet, here it is. You call it Samsung browser, called internet. So I have installed, and it's down up here on the right, you gotta go down here to, to um, content blockers. I can find it. Or it's under extensions. So you hit extensions and content blockers. So I have downloaded and installed Disconnect for Samsung Internet. I prefer that one over the others. There's obviously a whole bunch of other ones that Samsung's going to recommend. Um, I have tried out personally the Ad Block Plus, the, Ad, the Crystal one, and the, let's see, the Ad Guard one. Crystal wasn't really being updated, so I kind of let it be, and you could run with many as you want, up to five it says, but I, I don't see the need for it. I think the Unicorn is a paid one, and so is Timber Ad Filter. Anyways, um, it's up to you, but I have used Disconnect, and honestly, I don't have any issues then with seeing ads in my browsing experience, and it helps remove the trackers and everything else and speeds up my experience. Now, so that's just for the Android users out there. Now, if you're a Samsung user like myself here, I highly recommend, and it is this one. This one is a paid one, so again, and it's to be a pricey one. So I uh, apologize ahead of time. It's called Disconnect Pro for Samsung. It hooks into knots on the Samsung, so it actually works as kind of like a um, DNS filter. So it kind of helps um, filter everything on the device, not just your browser. So that's why I've been using Chrome because this app here filters and blots trackers and uh, ads across the whole operating system so I can use whatever device I want or whatever app I want. See as you can see here I have blocked over a thousand trackers, I've saved time and I've saved megabytes. Just by doing it. And if you look through my recent activity you can see all the apps and all the different trackers you, and just it's insane how many times Google pains back to the mothership for analytics on just their apps. So this um, app right here just goes ahead and blots everything. Um, right out of the gate. It's great. I have loved this. Now, I say it's pricey because I believe when I bought it, it was 30 bucks. I know your jaw probably drops the floor with it, but honestly, just the fact that I can use any app on my phone and it blots the trackers and blots the ads in them is worth it to me. It saves time and, um, and obviously it saves time and also uh, speeds up my system. So honestly, well worth it. So let's see. One wait. You can see how ma how many things. It's just insane how many, how much megabytes and data I've saved over it all. So this one doesn't really have much. So I can obviously sit there and I can whitelist stuff, or I can see by certain ones. So if you really wanted to go more detail here, you could whitelist apps. So if you really wanted to see your um, tracking on things or not have things be tracked, you can go ahead and do that. But I just want to block everything to be honest, because <laughs> that's how it is. Um, yeah, it's a, this is an awesome one. I highly recommend 
this for anybody who has a Samsung phone. It is pricey, but it's well worth it. So I hope you enjoyed these tutorials on how to speed up your mobile browsing history by blocking ads and trackers and any other thing annoyances you want on the, your, the mobile web. Um, if you like this video, don't hit, forget to hit the like button down below. And I have handpicked these two videos over here boop, 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 that I think you will really appreciate and like. Uh, please check them out. It really helps the channel. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys, and thank you so much for um, subscribing and for um, watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Take care.